So on to our next subject for today. Okay, so our next subject for today is going to be the um, Toy Box Villains Takeover Toy Box uh, Expansion Pack, which they have announced on a number of the different retailers is going to be a... Is, let's bring it up. There we go. Here's the actual box art for the Toy Box Takeover, which features Darth Vader, Venom, and Syndrome. On the front there, you can see some of the characters from Star Wars... Interesting, you've also got 1.0 characters from Disney side. You've also got the Marvel characters. And EB Games in Canada and also GameStop in the US and Target are all offering this as a pre-order bonus, and it's priced at $19.99. So what was your first thoughts on this, Abe? Um, I was like, hey, this is good. I mean, the for the value, I mean, I'm definitely getting something more expensive than a figure, um, so that's cool. Um, then afterwards I was like, you know, I wonder if this is just the villains one. I wonder if they're going to just limit it to that alone because they anticipate Speedway being popular enough yeah, it, on its own. So there's no mention of Speedway in any of the, on the websites. Yeah. So I, I think, I think this is a smart move, uh, on Disney's part because, um, well, on Disney's parts and on the retailer's part, obviously, um, because, this specific expansion game kind of promotes you playing with all the figures in existence all together in one game. And uh, it, it kind of like um, leaves the the first-time buyer who is getting a, a pre-order bonus um, an incentive to, to liking the past figures as well. So mm. um, I, I like the idea. I definitely like it value-wise and obviously for... For the the uh, crossover play, so you can play with everybody. So, it's almost that thing is like this is what we've said before. It kind of stands out as a standalone like video game almost. Yeah. Um, the way it's packaged. Um, it look, it, I don't know how big that box is going to be. I don't think it's going to be very big. Um, because of retail space is pretty limited. I just love the fact that the box is very much like there's Disney, Star Wars, and Marvel. This is the way it's going. You know, this is the way that Disney are uh, using Disney Infinity. You've got the 1.0, the 2.0, and the 3.0 all in the top there. You've really got that mix. But this is the thing. If they're going to keep wanting to push those characters being available for 3.0, so you can still go out and buy Elsa, and you can go and buy Spider-Man, and it will work in the game, which is, you know, they're still acknowledging the fact they've still got all these characters, not just because you've got them already, but because they're still on the shelf. Right. Um, but no, I just, I just, it's interesting to see them doing it as the sort of the free offer. Um, you know, there always seems to be some sort of preemptive kind of thing to get people in. I'm, you know, I'm happy with it. You know, if it's, if it, if it's, if it's a new, if it's a free figure or a something like this, it's something you're getting as a, as a bonus of being a pre-order one. Um, I think it's great. I think it's, it's also great to see them kind of stepping away from the figure thing because I think the free figure is a good offer but this is content this is structured play that they're offering that you can use straight out the box and also quite interesting that if you just uh, you know i mean i don't know necessarily yet in the us because you haven't got that software disc but if they do that over here in the uk i'm assuming it will probably follow suit you know you've got that and maybe you can pick up all the disney stuff so if you're not into star wars it allows a little bit more freedom but i'm just going to read out a little bit from what it says on the um, the eBay, e, sorry, the EB Games on the Canada Canada one. Get my words out this morning. Um, <laughs> toy Box Expansion Games unlock additional hours of gameplay inside Toy Box 3.0. Place your Toy Box Expansion game piece on the infinite basis. Jump straight into an all new, all new, fully featured game. And it's save the toy box from falling into chaos. When Syndrome gets his hands on Merlin's magic wand, it's up to you to stop him, join forces with your friends, and use your favorite characters in Disney Infinity to battle across multiple worlds and defeat bad guys before they ruin the toy box forever. In Disney Infinity, you can mash up Disney Marvel, uh, Disney Pixar, Star Wars, and you can play two-player local co-op or four-player online. Um, oh, it does say here that Toy Box uh, Disney Infinity Cars figures are not compatible with the Toy Box Takeover, and that makes sense because you have you know ladders and you have weapons that you need to use and everything like that. So the cars, the cars figures can't hold anything or 
or you know climb ladders so it makes sense and at least they're available on speedway which is what i'm happy for so yeah i mean that's where those guys are really going to come into their own is into that game no i think i just think in general i think um i think any kind of pre-order bonus is always a good thing for people to get into early on especially you know when later down the line when people are waiting for all those sort of uh black friday deals and after new year's deals you know, if you are spending up that money at the beginning, if you are getting something of a little bit of extra value back, it does sort of bring down the costs. I'm I'm happy with that. I mean, I'd be quite happy to take that. Um, I actually, I almost in some ways prefer that over the figure deal, because um, well, well, sort of. I mean, because because technically, I think it's it. Their um, previous pre-orders were figure and power disc pack, so technically it's sort of the same value, but I think it's better for the, the retailer because it's less SKUs that they're giving away for free. Mm. So um, it looks good on their um, on their cross-sell ratio because if they have more items that they're charging for, it's going to look good in their numbers. But it's the That's, same value. Yeah, I mean, I think this is... I mean, there was a slight difference, I think, with like the US and the, U- and the rest of the world with their pre-orders. Literally, most pre-orders over and out, out of the US were literally just a figure. You know, you, uh, get all the free, you never got the power, you never got the discs. Um, and in general, the deals have always been a lot better with um, the European, with the US ones. Um, so I guess. Though, <laughs> even those, um, you know, like last year, the to- you know, if you brought the digital one, you got those two toy box game discs. The, Europe, the, the rest of the world didn't get it. It was only US. So sometimes these offers are very much, you know, there's a lot more offers generally for the American audience than for the rest of the world. Um, but no, I think this is cool. I know a lot of some people are like, you know, well, last year we got these included with for free. Well, I think they're bigger games this year, but also I think Disney are doing something very dif- very different. They want to be the cheapest toy. They want to have the cheapest starter pack on the shelf. They want to have the cheapest way of getting in through digital, and this is a way of doing that. No, oh, yeah, I agree. It's it's definitely a, a great choice. Yeah. So. No, that's cool. Hopefully, we'll have a little bit more hands-on play this week of that as well. Because we haven't seen too much game footage of this yet. Nope, but you will. <laughs> you will. Okay, I think that's pretty much going to wrap <laughs> up the Toy Box bonus. 